If you are making a recipe that requires an oven, the first thing you're going to do is to preheat it, which means to turn it on and we are going to turn our oven on to 350 degrees because sometimes it takes a while for the oven to get hot. Next we're gonna lay out our ingredients. So we got our yogurt, our flour, our eggs, pumpkin pie spice, vanilla, olive oil, <sighs> brown sugar, zucchini, baking powder, and baking soda. Now I use the other half of the zucchini from making our zucchini stamps for this recipe because we do not love food waste around here. Next up, our supplies. Some of these supplies might be new to you all, such as a bread pan and a grater. So the grater is that thing with all the holes in it, and we are also going to be using a paring knife, a mixing bowl, a mixing spoon, some measuring cups, and measuring spoons. Cut the stem off of your zucchini, and then you are ready to start grating it. But be careful, because if you can see what it does to a zucchini, imagine what it can do to your fingers. So make sure you're keeping your hands out of the way of the actual metal grating part. Add your grated zucchini to a bowl with your brown sugar, your olive oil, your yogurt, your vanilla, and your two eggs. When cracking an egg, hit it on the top of a counter, not on the side of the counter or the side of a bowl. This will help prevent eggshell shards getting into your mixture. Now give it a good stir until all the ingredients are evenly combined. We first mixed together all of our wet ingredients, so now it's time to mix together our dry ingredients. Our flour, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and our pumpkin pie spice. Now mix that up so that, that is evenly combined too. And then we will gently add it to our wet mixture so that it is easily and evenly absorbed. Next is time for my favorite part, chocolate chips. Fold those in gently and then grease your bread tin. So I put a little bit of extra olive oil down there, spread it up and around the sides, and then I poured my bread mixture into the pan. Always, always, always remember your oven mitt. This will protect our wrists, our hands, and our arms from touching the hot oven. I'm gonna push that in there nice and gently and close the oven, put my timer on for 45 minutes, and this is some great time to clean up the huge mess I made. Here is the before and after of my hard, hard work. You know, all that cleaning made me pretty hungry, so I am super happy our bread is ready. Using my oven mitt, and I only have one oven mitt, so I used a dish towel to take it out of the oven, and wow, that looks so good. Make sure to turn off your oven, and then put your bread down on a pot holder or a dish towel to cool down. Friends, this smells so good. It's still pretty hot, so I'm gonna wait around five minutes for it to cool, and then I'm gonna cut it, and then of course I'm going to eat it. So I'll see you in five. Zucchini bread is awesome because you can have it for breakfast, but it's so sweet and rich and chocolatey that you can also have it for dessert. So catch me having my zucchini bread for every single meal of the day. I can't wait to hear how you like it. Uh, send photos, leave me comments. I can't wait to hear from you. I'll see you soon. Bye.